It's your boys, Zap King, the Giant Robots, and welcome back to Real Robot Battle Line. Episode 3 of the One Man Translation Team. So far, I think I've gotten lucky in that cutscenes aren't that long, but we are only on stage 3. So let's shoot some robots. Stage three, Golden Fox Woman. So choose your voice. Ah, uh, let me grab my book. Although I think my book continues to not tell me what order people deploy in. It sure doesn't. So. What I'm going to try to do is... Nuska is defaulted, naturally. Uh, I kind of want... Total Kobayashi. And then Hasha, everyone else. Oh no! I unselected someone. That's the first time I've ever heard that. Data entry complete. Wolin protests to Azalonian Army's persistence, but Ralph counters that Wolin is only good at talking. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry. Wait, who are you again? Oh, oh, you're Ralph. You're that asshole that just throws branches away. Fuck you in particular. Or so he says. That's not what I wrote, but. Ralph insists that that's normal uh, behavior. And immediately orders name Molhan to take out the, the enemies. For now, that's all she can do to survive. But make sure that it's okay to destroy Charmin Amaro. Seems fine. You deal with it. Mesa. No, we'll handle this. And if Hasha is around. He thinks it's weird that I, huh, it's okay to kill Sharon Omero, huh? <laughs> So after much testing from the previous stage, I learned that it is entirely possible to not get Amu and Hasha, but that also requires you deliberately going out of your way and destroying them. Fortunately, Amu is here when I want Hasha closer up front. And as always, getting those buttons backwards. Now, there's nobody on the field that we haven't seen before, so. Let's go ahead and use up a Godspeed. I don't want him to go too far, but I want him to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are those the same as these? Yes. They have four move and a range of one to three, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so that. So here, here, here. And that's one, two, three. So you can hit here, so uh, uh. Okay. They might come after you, but they can't reach you.
that's okay. These don't have bean coats. We've seen that plenty, but hey. Also, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mapua. Dang. If he'd have been one more space over. This is fine though. Uh, heat the hawk. Get checked. So... Oof, that's a hit. Uh, okay, where's Musica? Uh, that could be a kill shot from her. Nice. Now, Hayato, I believe in you. I believe you're gonna wreck this guy in one shot. all that. Now the hard part is that everyone else kind of like works straight forward. Hasha has very important jobs to do today. Protect this man at all costs. Why? Because he has Bless. attack Musica, you'll probably go for the core fighter. That's fine. And everyone else that comes forward needs to be like baited forward. Yep. It was foreseen. It was predicted by the cosmos.
What are you going for? Ah, uh, you went for shock. Curious. Uh, yeah, we'll use this uh, rocket launcher. And I think you're in the right position now. That you could probably get. Oh man. Okay, maybe two of them at least. Hitting two enemies is better than one. So, yes! And leaving the animation off, we'll not sh we'll skip it. Booty. Let's get... Fix up Char. Aw, oh, you know... Uh. I always forget that I have the option to hot blood that map weapon. So let's get Kai participating. Uh, with that, that's a kill shot. It just skips the animation of them being hit? Or did I push a button? Maybe I pushed a button? I don't remember pushing buttons. Fucking weird! We take those things. some attack upgrades. Hasha, you're doing work for me while you're here. Protect this man!
Will that turn you around? No. Yeah, it did. Again. I'll use one rocket. Those two have to come on their way. That hang. Did none of them move at all? No, they didn't. Well, see, the hard part is that the guys that are going to do the most damage to the two named enemies. Let's go this far. 
Okay, back in the real timeline, which I only lost like two turns. It's it's fine. Everything's fine. Now let's. From downtown. This might be a kill shot. Knowing, you know, the habits of high at all. Aww, close though. I cannot hum and be on beat at the same time. My brain doesn't process that way. Use your temptation. And most generics are male. I continue to lag behind. Amaro can give him the beam. range those have, so... Who's left? Y'all... Nah, y'all can sit there. Okay, not yet. Got it. Thank <laughs> you. 
we're gonna try to come from this side. And that means you pull back. Oh! Oh no. Oh, you have no chance to hit, make your time. Mm, beam rifle! Uh, we're at least gonna look at your animation. You're new here. It's like, I cast flash on him, that's why there's a 0% chance. Yeah. Naturally. Bum bum. Show the way to you. Okay, they're coming now. Uh, core fighter. You must defend. Very good. the core fighter maybe not maybe not <sighs> yeah it's a loss hold on i hate that i don't have a quick reset all right let's see how this turn goes again since something's going to happen anyway. Okay. The outside flight didn't move as far, so... I can't... I am not going to risk taking that hit, though. Yeah, not on that attack power. Mm-hmm. Would have got wrecked. So you haven't been hit at all. And then thirty-three. Heat up. plan here is to bring him down as close to critical as I can get him. So... Hit you in the side with this sword. And hope that that's not a kill shot. Excellent! Again, and then over here, Hasha, bless up. Now, have one thousand. Try a few things. This is a laser, and I don't know if the barrier stops lasers or not. I think it does. Find out. It doesn't! Anton, down! She tells Anton to back out, withdraw. Don't be overwhelmed. Get the fuck out. 
big money. Alright. Which is the plan for you. Uh, Musica. Save the core fighter, because. Flash. Two to four, I'm having a sixty, so let's hot blood. this an issue if I miss and continue to miss. That's zero. Alright, hold on. Got that hit. I mean... It's only 16, but 16 is still pretty chunky. Uh, higher toe. I don't think you're in range of anything that you're not. And you have spent zero times! Let's see if I can't bait you over here. If that'll bait someone over. Ayato in the way. Have you learned a second spell yet? You have wall. Can we go ahead and shout. you again I can probably finish you off with another bless from Asha use the kind of armor I haven't moved you know what You have it, okay. You have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have flash. That shouldn't kill anything either. Or it is. Get the money, okay. Oh, well, you know what? This is fine. I mean, I would have rather have had that 1400, but 1100 is still good. Because you still have to come for me, and I still have one more bliss left for you. Who are you going for? You went for a hot shot. You know who the threat is. Ba ba ba. Okay. 
Okay, this means... Lock it in. Wall up. And this would not be a kill shot, but could also defend. He has a shield. That's valid. Okay, your Your flash should still be active since you haven't been hit. Let's see how this goes. Good, this is fine. 800. Ahasha, bless up. Get him from the side and come on, kill shot. Got him. Get dollar. Shaw hits level 7 and gets us lots of dollars. Once the battle's over with, it's time to hurry on back to Reef Base. And hurry on towards, back towards, back on track. Let's go! Ralph's squad returns, berating the branches for having just lost. So much for A rank branches, right? Ralph seems to think they can just get better ones, but despite that, Omro and Char are going to be huge problems. Problems that need to be dealt with very soon. Ralph orders his goons to go and request for reinforcements, but lets the Silverado go for now. What? Moving diagonally? How dare we? Bridge of the Silverado! Wallen announces that there's another day before they reach the base. He is good demands to know what the hell is going on, only to be told that Ocelona's voices are, duh, invading, plus they need to report the findings and loss of the duplicator that they'd used. Elijah brings up their specific rules about not duplicating Char! But fortunately, Wallet hasn't reported that to anybody yet, so they're not in any trouble. Yet. Previously, Char has been duplicated three times. The last one was about 30 years ago. Armro himself is considered an S Class branch, and even Camille has been duplicated 20 times. Jesus, fuck, 20 times, goddamn. But Char has been duplicated only three times and brought about three rebellions. And since the last time, everyone has stopped trying to duplicate him. A rebellion has even incurred in Wolin's home country. Good worries that Char is way too dangerous for a person to be left alone. But Wolin insists that right now, everything's okay. So don't worry about it. Blood calls him a sloppy leader with lazy commanding. But instead, Wolin comes back that he's fought alongside branches in three different wars already. They have had to live and die together, and you're not going to get anywhere without trusting one another. It's no different for riding alongside branches than with anyone else. Obviously, Glenn doesn't agree, but Glenn doesn't need to understand right now. Just make it work for now. Make it work. A 
off in the halls. Musica has, asked to, has gone to visit Armuro privately. Though he claims to be tired, he does let her in. Private quarters. Private room. Musica has to ask, do they, the branches, resent her and her team? It would only be natural for them to. They were called here against their will, and now they're forced into fighting. Armor worries that being able, uh, being able to go back to his world at all. Sadly, no. They can't. He's a copy, and his original is still back where he came from. Instead, Armor apologizes, realizing that there's nothing she can do about her anyway. Her. But then, Musica begins to cry. She completely laments that branches are stuck here, regardless of their family or friends. They can never go back to see them. But honestly, Armuro is relieved to hear this. He appreciates that someone would cry for somebody like them. It makes them, you know, kind of the same. Musica soon changes topics, asking what Armuro thinks about Shar. In short, he practically hates Char. Had Char not attacked Side 7, people's families wouldn't have died. He could be living at home in peace. He really can't help but hate Char. Miska admits that she actually admires him. She wants to be as skilled a pilot as he is. So at least on that front, she admires him as a pilot and not as a person with theologies and the bad way of going about certain things. She then asks Armro not to hate Char so much. Sure, she's sure that what he did to Side 7 was only him following orders that he couldn't go against. Armro stays silent, letting her go on, but shortly after she just excuses herself. Yusuka san. Bonding has occurred. Large finances have also occurred, but I thank y'all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. This is certainly an adventure. Good night, Space Lines.